got to say to you, we've got to keep going. It doesn't matter what the laws they put in front of us. The message from tonight is we're going to keep going. And we will not leave any member on the field. We will not allow our members to be dismissed. We will not allow our members to be disciplined. We will not obey work notices issued by the employer or issued by the government. We will defy this law. And if this law comes into fruition in the autumn or whenever it comes, the TUC and all of the trade unions affiliated and every worker in this country has got to unleash a mass campaign of workplace disobedience and defiance. We will not accept the conscription of our members. And that's what we're faced with. They're telling us that we must run minimum services. That means that signalers and overhead line engineers, train drivers, guards and everybody else will be forced to go to work across their own picket line, defying their own vote in favour of action. And we will never let that happen in our union. And the TUC, the General Council and the Congress in full must commit to the same stance. And we're going to ask Mr Starmer and the Labour Party tonight, vote against this, this uh, legislation. It's easy, you just have to walk across the room and stand in a hall and vote against it. But what we're going to say is, you must not only robustly oppose this bill, it must be repealed and you must go on the record again during this debate that it will be repealed in full within 100 days of a Labour government being elected. And that's not enough. We need to go further. And it's in their own policy that we need a Bill of Rights for workers. We need a new deal that enshrines in law, which we've never had in this country, the right to strike as a human and civil right. That must allow us to vote for it and take the action no matter what the consequences. And we must have a set of rights that enables workers and their unions to take these employers, such as the P&O and the Royal Mail, to court whenever they breach our agreements, whenever they unlawfully and unjustly sack our members. And they must go further. If the Labour Party and others want our votes at that election, they must repeal and unshackle the unions and repeal four decades of anti-trade union laws and let us rebalance the workplace on behalf of our members. The only people that are going to ensure the rights of working people and a new deal are the trade unions and we must rid our rights back in full and the next Labour government must deliver that. And for the RMT, our pledge is as a trade union in this country, no matter what they send against us, whether it's the corrupt courts, whether it's the police, whether it's the bailiffs, whether it's the journalists, the commentators, no matter who they send, our union will not be broken by this legislation. We will not bow. We will not bend the knee to anyone that gets in our members' way. We will fight the employers. We will fight the government. We will fight this legislation. And we will fight on to defend workers in this country. And we will win our disputes. Victory to the RMT. Victory to every worker. Solidarity and fight on.